Coach, what was it that you liked with the Miles, putting Miles in the starting lineup tonight? Uh, just, you know, in the second half of the last game, you know, we had done it a, a number of times during the regular season. So it, we just thought that that was our, would give us our best chance. Coach, just the, the, the way you guys responded after the, the last game, just what can you say about the fight that this team has? Yeah, they, I mean, they've shown it all year. You know, that's who they are. Um, you know, this, we still need one more win, so we can't be too excited about it. We have to understand, you know, what we need to do. Stay focused on the task at hand. You feel good about yourself. You get knocked down in this league. You got to be ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I thought you know Isaiah was phenomenal. It, we, it, everyone, it was a, a great team effort, but Isaiah in particular. Those extra possessions were huge for us. And then I thought we got great production. Obviously, what Deuce did was huge, you know, just to be ready to step in. And then I thought Precious and Alec were really, really good for us off the bench. And, and we needed that. And Jalen, of course, was Jalen. And Josh was Josh. And so we need everyone. We have to, our defense was good. The rebounding was good. Taking care of the ball was good. All right, and that's what we have to do. But we're going to have to be better in this next one. How do you explain the contagious energy and effort in this ball game? Well, again, I, you know, to me, that's been a trademark of the team. We've been shorthanded all year, and this is this is our way. We, you know, we have to play hard as heck on every possession, and we got to keep doing it. So we have to do that for 48 minutes. And we know if we defend and we rebound, we take care of the ball, we're going to have a good chance to win. Coach, would you say that this was one of your most physical playoff games to this point? I think that's sort of the the nature of the playoffs, in particular when, as the series goes on, because it's it's uh, you're playing the same guys over and over, and 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 I you know I have great respect for them. I think it's, it's great competition, and that's and that's what you love about the playoffs. I mean, I think you see, you know, in every game now, there's. You know, there's there's a lot at stake, and there's guys are competing real hard, and I think it's enjoyable for everyone. I think fans love it, and uh, you know, we we understand what we have to do, and we just got to make sure we're ready for the next one. We can't feel too good about this. One. Tom, can I get you to go beyond Jalen with Jalen a bit? I mean, this is the fifth time you scored more than 40 points, and he did it at yeah, a really crucial time I, for you guys. Well, and you're right, and you're making a great point because as much as you know, you talk about him, and you talk about him a lot, and rightfully so. It's not enough, and what he means to the team, and so, and he's so willing to share everything with his teammates. And I tell you, like to me, that's the best part of him. It's his play is spectacular, but who he is as a teammate, as a leader, it it makes us that, you know. And and I think that's, but it's big shot after big shot, and you know, and and I just love. There's never any excuse making from from him. You know, he's never talking about, you know, injuries and, you know, like a, a lot of times, you, you know, you, you hear all, people talking about their injury. It's a, a lot of it's excuse making. You never get that from him. You know, it's always I'll be better next game. Even when he plays a great game, I'll be better next game. And I love that mentality. Tom, the, the uh, guard guard screening, a lot of it tonight right off the back kind of what was what was working so well on those plays with the Pacers kind of sending two on a lot yeah, of them you know it's off. something that we like to do we you know and it was you know it's not just the guard guard it was you know big big as well so um and, you know we you you have to attack different ways and you know some of it's catch and shoot some of it's off the elbow some of it is you know there's there's a number of different ways we have to get Jalen open and get him the ball and attack, and then everyone has the responsibility. We know at some point the no, you don't. <laughs> you didn't say it like you meant it. Uh, no, but he, uh, you know we know he's going to get blitzed at some point. He's, they're going to send the second guy. They'll, they'll hit him. And then it's on us to make the right plays and the right reads from there. And that's where I thought Alec was invaluable. I thought Deuce was invaluable. Uh, you know, the second pass, uh, the playmaking that comes off of that, 
getting the ball to the middle of the floor and then playing off that, everyone working together. And that's what makes you a team. Was that something that, that came because of the ending of the lineup or because of stuff you'd seen previously in the series? You know, it, it's, a, it's a combination of things that you're, you're looking at, things that have worked before, things that you've gone to. And, you know, sometimes something works, you stay with it. And then you, you can do it the next game and it doesn't work, so you got to go somewhere else. And so, uh, you know, like there's a, a number of things that they're doing uh, also defensively. And so we just got to make sure we read the game. The game t- will tell us what to do. Coach, they, they had 22 points maybe a few minutes into the game, but from that point on, it seemed from the outside that your defense was much, much better. Rotations were sharper. Yeah. There was more efforts. Yeah, and, and, you know, like the thing, that, and that's what you, you know, obviously we were disappointed in the way we played, you know, in, in game four in Indiana, and then we had to respond, and we had to fix some things, but I felt we were in mud in that game, you know, and so uh, sometimes that, that happens, and then it's, you know, it's not necessarily what happened, it's how we respond to it. And so, and I thought today we came out with the right uh, aggressiveness and then the communication was a lot better uh, and that helped a lot as well. Is that your best defensive effort maybe in a while? Uh, well, you know, and, you know it, it, it's because it's, it was a great defensive effort today, so it's it's in, in our memory today, but we got to do it all over again. That it won't carry over unless we put the work into it into the next game. But that's sort of been, you know, what we've banked on you know, with all the injuries was the defense, the rebounding, and low turnovers. We felt, you know, I, I you know, said this ad nauseum to everybody about we're not replacing Julius or OG or Mitch individually, we, but we can replace them collectively if we get everyone rebounding, everyone defending, and everyone taking care of the ball. And if we do that, that'll put us in position to win. Tom, uh, across from you, Larry and Pat, and Larry, Pat, and John were all sitting together on the other side of the court, and you guys are one win away from getting back to the a place you haven't been since those guys were playing. And I'm just curious, are there any similarities that you see from the team you coached back then to the one you have now? Uh, I think the togetherness and tenacity, every player is different, every team is a little different. But I think the commitment to each other, that's similar. I think the the toughness aspect of it, similar. You know, so, um, but, you know, like we still got a long way to go to, you know, every year I felt with with Patrick and, and John and Larry and Spree, those guys, we always felt like it, we had a, ch- a chance to win it. Like, and we went deep every year if we were healthy. And so there was a consistency to it every year. You felt like you had a good chance. And sometimes, like, to win it, I, you know, I've, uh, I've done it once as an assistant in Boston, but you need some good fortune. You know, we, we got to the finals in 99. We had two big shots. Allen's shot, obviously, uh, against Miami and Larry's four-point shot against Indiana. You need good fortune to go along with it, but you need a commitment from the team to each other to get that done. Tom, um, J- Jalen, what was the difference between last game and this game that you saw? No, and, and I, I'm sorry because that's what the, uh, Barbara asked that question. And, you know, like the thing is, it, it, sometimes people forget. Like, even going into tonight's game, I think he was averaging 30 points against Indiana. You know, so, and everyone, we, we've all come to expect him to almost be superhuman every night. And he's, you know, he's an incredible player. He's, you know, he's loaded up on every night. He's, he's the focal point of everyone's game plan. And so, and sometimes it's a case of, you know, missing shots, you know, and they could be good shots, you know. And so I think that, we all tend to forget that, and and the thing is, is the thing I love about his approach is he never he gets crazy. He just he's he's like a machine. Every day he comes in, locked in. This is what he's going to do. He'll be ready for the next game. Be ready for the next game. And then, you know, when you look at it in totality, I think sometimes you could look at a snippet 
like a game or two where maybe there's not the the points or that he normally scores, and then or he misses some shots. Uh, but if you look at it over ten games, you see okay, you know he's well above you know everyone's expectations, and so that's you always have confidence that he's going to bounce back and. You know, and he impacts the the game in so many different ways because a lot of our offensive rebounding is a byproduct of you know the attention that he gets. Bodies are flying around to him, opening up lanes for us. And then the three point shooting, which you know we didn't shoot well in game four, but we shot a lot better today. And you know we've shot great throughout the uh, playoffs is a byproduct of him being double double teamed all the time. So. Uh, and the, 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 as I said, his humility is terrific and his willingness in wanting to share the spotlight with all his teammates. You know, like that's, it, it says a lot about him as a leader. Tom, uh, Tom you, you mentioned uh, him in passing a couple of times, but how big has it been to have a guy like Burks who, um, you know, struggled after the trade and then hadn't played in, in a few weeks to give you these couple of games that he's given you. Yeah, no, it, well, in, and again, I said he's, he's the ultimate pro. Uh, he's a combo guard. He can shoot. He can put it on the floor. And he's got experience, and he can think on his feet, right? So those, those are all the things that are valuable, particularly in playoff situations. So I'm not surprised. Uh, he's had a terrific career. Um, and I think he's got a lot left in the tank.